Welcome back. You're still watching Maisha Prime News. I'm Rita Chabet carrying the vetting of 29 principal secretaries by various departmental committees kicked off early Wednesday morning after the, the High Court lifted an order suspending the interviews following a case filed against the process. The petitioner had challenged the composition of the nominees list saying it did not reflect the face of Kenya. The nominees say they were ready to hit the road running to ensure the Kenya Kwanzaa vision for the country came to life. MPs are said to ban the midnight oil to finalize their report, which will be tabled in Parliament on Thursday for debate. National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula has directed that the vetting of President William Ruto's 51 principal secretary nominee should resume immediately. This is after the Employment and Labor Relations Court threw out three petitions that were seeking to stop the entire process. Speaking during the House plenary session on Tuesday, Wetangula stated that all departmental committees are to conclude the vetting proceedings and approval hearings as as soon as possible to allow for the conclusion of process. Earlier, Justice Ndumandere ruled that a petition challenging the process was prematurely filed. The judge said Parliament ought to be allowed to complete the process and an aggrieved party can thereafter file a suit. On November 16th, Speaker of the National Assembly Moses Utangula stopped the vetting of PS nominees in compliance with the November 15th court order. More than 20 PS nominees, including Raymond Omolo of Interior, Julius Korir Cabinet Affairs, Julius Bitok Citizen Services, Dr. Josephine Mburu Health Standards, Chris Kipto National Treasury, Patrick Mariro of Defense, and Alfred Komundo of Trade were among those who had been vetted by MPs before the exercise was suspended. Before its suspension, the vetting was to take place between November 14th and November 18th. The Law Society of Kenya, LSK, had filed a petition seeking to stop the process, arguing President William Ruto did not factor in regional balance and gender equality. can fix the issue of first digitizing the land records, the digitizing is not just scanning of title. Digitizing involves uh, the uh, land registries. It involves the survey, ensuring that we also have a digital uh, map, geo-mapping, geo-referencing to be able to attach a certain parcel of land to a, a map uh, which is digital, ensuring that the valuation index is also completed, the land valuation uh, index is completed so that we can also, as you also search for a certain piece of land, maybe maybe for uh, private transaction or public use or, uh, or compulsory acquisition, we have an estimate value of that land. Housing, as I began, is not about four walls and a roof. This agenda is much more bigger than that. Our economy is bleeding. Our economy is in need of a different way of thinking. We are in, sitting in very unprecedented times after a major pandemic, followed by a war uh, that has uh, made a global uh, prices of commodities to go high. Chair, we have got to reimagine. For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, I'm Rida Chebet Kering.